Hello everybody, I'm Kim and today I am introducing you to our A7 card base and layering die set number one. So what is an A7 size? A7 size creates a 5x7 card size. So the die would be 7 inches by 10 inches long, so you do need your large platform in order to run this die through your machine. But this is a very easy way to create a 5x7 card with two different choices of layering dies. So let's get started. Let's take a look at this first of all. Up close you see you, this is a straight line and it will have the uh, crease in the middle so you can have your score line already done for you. Layering die set number one includes the stitched two-piece layering die and then the dotted set down below. So you get two different choices and of course you can mix and match. So let's set this aside and show you what I've done already. We're just going to make a real simple base card. This one has already been cut out, scored in the middle, so I'm just going to fold it, take my Teflon bone folder, give it a solid crease right there so it is sealed, and then you can use it vertical, horizontal, you can use it whichever way you'd like to do it. And then I'm going to start and show you with the stitched line. So that is our stitched line, second layer right there. This would be the dotted line, first layer, yeah, first layer right there, second layer right there. So let's just attach these guys together. I'm going to use my tape runner. Whoop. My whoa. tape runner, and I do not need to measure. That's what makes this so easy to do. Now stitched is already complete which all we got to do is glue that guy on there and I've got my layers already set and I can do my decor and I am ready to go. All right, stay tuned if you want to see a project. All right. everybody, I'm Kim and we are back. We are going to do a 5x7 card using our A7 card base and layering die set number one as well as making a 5x7 edge-to-edge -edge shaker card. So let's get started. Alright, this is the card that we are going to make. As you can see, it's an edge-to-edge -edge shaker card, which means it goes completely edge to edge, the whole entire front of it shakes. I've got little pearls in there as well as dragonflies. We're going to make sort of a spring looking card together. Open it up. I've got one of my layering pieces inside of here so I can do my sentiment. And I've got a very pretty nice spring color base. So let's get started on that. So I cut out my base for the card. We're going to make a pink base card. And I already cut it out using this outside piece. My score line is already created for me in the middle. And then for my layering piece, I use the smaller dot set, which would be the second layer. And I cut that out twice, in, once in green and once in white, uh, for the inside of my card as well as the inside of my pocket, my shaker pocket that I'm going to do. So let's put that guy aside. Shaker bits I'm going to use are dragonflies and a little bit of yellow pearls. I already have that guy mixed up in my uh, container right there, so you can see what I'm going to use. And then um, the paper that I'm using, it is, let's see, New Day from Echo Park, so you can see which particular piece I'm using. And I'm using the piece that you can um, chop up. It's one of the pages. The back side would be little small flowers. I like these little sizes because you can uh, use them for different sorts of things. So for this particular card, I'm going to go use Let's Go to the Market on the inside. The uh, second card that I already made, it says Oh Happy Day, and that's from that same set. And then coordinating colors to go with that. So now that you know which paper I'm using, um, I got some of my base cardstock, which I already uh, cut out using my die cut form, my metal die. I'm going to crease that using my uh, Teflon bone folder. And then I'm going to set this card this way instead of this way to be opening up. And for the edge to edge part, I already have my edge to edge piece set aside right here. And then uh, I already cut a background piece out 
And we do need to make sure that this is side, oh, wrong side, making sure I'm getting the side that's going to peel because you need to peel these guys off, but we'll show you that in a minute. And then there is a protective layer on here, which you can see right here, that needs to get peel, uh, peeled off. So let's do that right now and get that out of the way. Otherwise, your, your card is going to look very cloudy. And sometimes you need a better set of nails to peel that guy off. So we'll get that peeled off. So that's going to be the outside. So you can see that's a little bit on the shinier side. The inside, you've got your little peel strip. So I already pre-measured this guy. When you get these, you just wanna double check your folding and crease them so you know they are going the way you want them to go. Pre-cut that guy out just verifying that it's going to fit how I want it to. That's going to be correct. Now we're going to do the decor on the inside right there. I am going to put my green piece of paper, uh, glue that down, adh adhere that one down, and then I'm going to adhere that down because I want that to be my look on the inside of the card and then my shaker goodies are going to go on, go on top of that. So let's get that put down. And that's going to have a nice dotted edge that I used to cut out, so that will show up very nice. Okay, let's get that put down. All right, that looks exactly how I would like that to go. And let's just double check that. Oop, that's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, so let's seal up these guys. As you can see, this is very fast to do. Whoop. Okay, now don't forget, don't seal them all up because you gotta put your shakers in. So I just created my pocket right there. And we are going to dump all the shaker goodies in there. Whoop. Now, sometimes you do need to push a little bit of the air out and then give it a little bit of a huff also to get the moisture in there. You can see that. Okay, so I'm going to push that guy out. And let's get that sealed up. All right, my pocket is ready to go. It just needs to be glued down on here. So let's get that glued down. I am gonna use my red line because it's a little bit stronger than a typical tape runner. You can use liquid glue if you'd like, but I prefer a little bit stronger tape. Let's get that down. All right, now that I've peeled those off, and I don't know about you guys, but I've got the worst time peeling those guys off, but it's the best tape ever. So three stripes on that. We're going to line this guy up perfectly. So once it's down, you know it's down. Okay, that guy is down, ready to go. Let's complete the inside of it, which I did using the white. Cut that out, and I'm gonna apply that down right here so I've got a pretty background layering piece for the sentiment, and then I need to finish it off as well. So I'm going to put a little flower out of our handmade set, and I think I'm going to do the green one so that pops the green up there. And then I just need to make an envelope for my for my card and it is ready to go into the mail. So you just used your five, or excuse me, your A7 five by seven card base and layering die as well as an edge to edge shaker card base pouch. So you can go ahead and make your cards and make your shaker cards nice and easy. All right, have a great day you guys.